the exhibition features um, depression era artworks. Um, really, the exhibition examines the diverse responses of artists um, to the social upheaval and the economic distress that characterize American life um, in the 1930s. You know, the government recognized um, art's ability, its power to enliven the broken American spirit at this time, uh, which is, you know, why they. Um, included artists and you know they had the different art programs like the Federal Art Project uh, for the WPA that was one of the biggest ones um, and so they they realized that you know these artists that were working for the New Deal could um, create art that would be you know reassuring and um, have this distinctly American subject matter that people could identify with and you know, that might help um, divert some of the anxiety at the time about the poverty and, you know, give people hope. Um, help them realize that, you know, the current difficulties they were facing could be overcome and things would get better. So we have several Native American artists included in the exhibition. Um, Native American themes uh, painted by Native and non-Native um, artists were pretty common at this time. Um, a lot of artists were self-reflected, you know, they um, painted um, what they saw, what you know, what was around them, um, things that related to regional and national identities. Um, so we include, we have, um, the exhibition includes works by A.C. Blue Eagle, Stephen Mo Pope, um, James White Buffalo, and Tonita Pena, uh, which is, her work is a very um, large work, um, not quite as large as the hail, but it is probably the second largest work in the exhibition. It's a good example of um, one of the themes that artists were interested in at the time, which was, you know, they were looking to the past and um, looking to examples of inspirational um, figures from history who had triumphed over adversity. Those types of scenes could um, be a reminder that current difficulties could be, could be overcome. You can see the exhibition starting November 2nd, so when we open to the public. Um, you can get more information at okcmoa.com.